In today's video, I am going to be breaking down five proven basketball plays that can work against any defense. Let's get down and let's check these out. This first play is a five out offense. And if you want, you can go check out my five out complete guide down in the description below. However, first we're going to be going up against a man to man defense and we're going to have a pass over towards the wing on the right side. You can obviously run this on the left side too, but I'm just going to show you on the right side. We're going to then have a staggered screen which means we're going to have player five setting a screen down for player three and player one who's going to be setting up a screen roughly on the elbow when we set up this staggered screen player three is going to be coming off and he's going to be popping up for a three-point shot on the point or at the point when this is happening we also want to see player five rolling towards the basket why this is important well this is important because now we have the option for a three-point shot or we may also have an option for a layup if for example there was a switch and there was a player who was hung up here this is going to be a mismatch and we may have also an open three here this comes down to player four's decision making let's say there was no switch and let's say there was nobody open at this time, we would then have player five continue through, set a back screen for player two, who would then cut towards the rim. Of course, if this is open, you could hit him up for a pass for a layup. If it's not open, and then at that time, we would have player two fill out, player five fill out, and then we would, of course, reset with whatever five out offense that you were running, maybe a pass and cut, which would be then just a pass and then cut towards the rim. How I like to organize my five out offenses is to have a set play at the beginning if possible, and then finish off with a pass and cut, pass and screen away and pass and screen four. And how I usually teach that is just to basically teach those three basic offenses at first and then get into the set plays later on in the season. Now I'm going to show you one more five out offense before we get on to other types of offenses that you could run that are proven and work on every single play or defense. But again, make sure to go check out my five out complete guide down, down in the description if you really wanted to use that offense. Now this next one works against zones as well as mans too, just like the last one. However, now what we are going to have is our post players starting in the corners and we call this zone go, which just basically has the two post players. They're going to be, or at least big guys, I should say, uh, they're going to be cutting to the high post and at this time we're going to have players three and two they're going to be popping down towards the corners when this happens at the same time we want those players to be moving at the same time player one is going to pass to either four or five and let's say it goes to player five we're going to then have player one move over towards this side and player four cut towards the rim the number one option we're looking for is a pass down to player four for a layup and that should be there if it's not then we would need player two to then fill out player four to fill out player five could take his man one-on-one -on -one to the basket or we can set up the five out once again. Now that same play against a two, three zone will most likely see a trap up top, players three and four moving up. And then we'll have players five and four, or they should be switched, players five and four will be going to the high post. We're going to have a pass into player five and at the same time, we're going to be having three and two move down towards the corners. Now, of course, the corners may be open for a three, so always have player five look for that. But usually what will happen is player five, because he guards generally the whole key in a two, three, will have most likely player five popping up in many, many cases. And player four at that point will then pop down for an easy layup. This is one of the easiest plays that you could run. You may also find that there may be mistakes that are being made by the defense. For example, player four may pop up and player three would then be able to cut. And if that happens, hit him up with a pass. You may also see player three pop up watching player four because of course they, if you run this two or three times and player four gets baskets, you're going to be most likely seeing player four draw up player three without even having to have the ball we would still have player one moving over towards this side as well and that could be a three but if player three was to move up player two needs to cut baseline again same thing easy easy baskets 
literally. I only run this against zone defenses with the teams that I coach. However, I'm not even blowing this out of proportion, but literally after running this three or four times, the other team will move out of a zone 100% of the time. Because what will happen is exactly what I just showed you there. We'll get some easy layups by player four. That draws up that, that wing defender on the 2-3. And then we just have the weak side cut, baseline, nice high-low pass, another couple of easy layups. And at that time, the other team usually calls a timeout because we just basically got 8 to 10 points back to back to back on them and they call a timeout we already know that they're going to be switching over to a man to man and when that happens we at that time start planning out our man-to-man -man offenses that we have set up. Now this next one is a horns offense where we'll have our post players in the high post and we'll have some corner players. This is another super simple play that you could run both against a man and a zone. And what we will be doing here is having a player five set a screen on player one and then we'll be having player one use that screen and trying to attack the basket. At this time, we're going to be having player three rise up towards the wing and player four we would want to have cutting towards the basket. After player five sets that screen, he doesn't want to roll to the basket, we want him to pop out for a three. So altogether, what will happen is player one will drive, player four is going to cut towards the basket, player three is going to lift, and then player five is going to be popping. Now, depending on what the defense does, if player three drops off his man to play defense or help defense, which he shouldn't, but they generally do, player one is going to pass out to player three for a three point shot. If he doesn't lift up, up, he has an open lane to the basket or if he doesn't I mean play help defense player one is going to have an easy layup at the basket if they switch off at that time we're gonna have a mismatch up top and we really need to exploit that we can do that by removing these players from the situation player one dribbles out here player five then cuts towards the rim and of course anytime where you have a five on one situation you really need to get player five into the post and that's essentially what you would do now if it's like against a zone it's gonna be a little bit different so against a zone same thing if we're going up against a two three zone this is basically what it's gonna look like five is gonna set that screen he's going to attack this is going to be collapsing most of the defense and of course we're going to have player three rise up this could be an easy three player four cutting from that corner down to the post could be an, a potentially easy pass maybe especially if it's only player five who's defending him and if player four red was to come over and try to stop that layup from happening what you'll be able to do is just kick it out to player two or player two could cut it's all about reading the defense at that point but it's again a simple play that you could run against pretty much any off or any defense you could actually set this play up with a five out offense the same exact way we set up that five out offense where it was that high to low pass. The second play in this video where you could just have the corner post players pop up into a horns offense, have the wings cut down to the corners and you're automatically in a horns and you're now just able to run the exact same play. This fourth play is going to be a low 1-4 offense, and we're going to start this against a man, and I'll show you it against a zone defense as well. But what we are going to set up, essentially, is a player 4 setting a screen for player 5, and then we're going to be having player 3 set a staggered screen roughly somewhere in the high post area. Now, when this happens, we're going to have player 5 popping off, and now, this is the important part, when player 5 pops off, up using that staggered screen he's going to be using the second screener as a fantastic option because obviously he could take that three that is an option however what we really want to see is player three setting a secondary screen for player five we're going to be having our players of course remove themselves from the key player five is going to then use player three as a screen and now because we've overloaded one side especially against a zone then we'll be really setting ourselves up really well but against a man this basically opens up the whole side of the court to get a basket 
So player three can pop off, especially if there's whatever can happen. There's so many different options that can happen with the hedging man. It could be a layup, could be a shot, could be anything, but it's just a simple screen and roll. You use the whole side. Now against the two, three zone, this really does open up a lot of different options. However, here we're going to be setting a screen on these players here, no matter where they are, it doesn't matter. But we're going to be having screens set on those two players. Player five is going to be popping. And now, of course, he could have that open three point shot. That is an option that's there. However, if that's not open, we may have a mistake that happens where player two and four try to trap the corner because that's literally their zone. That's where they're supposed to to be trapping. Player 3 could easily just pop off, have an open shot. There's so many different options here. Player 4 is obviously going to be removing himself from that situation. However, the main difference here is going to be having player 3 set that secondary screen once again, this time on player 4. So instead of it being set the screen set on this side like against a man, against the zone we want it set on this side and there's actually a very good reason for that. The reason for that is because now what you're going to have is player 5 using that screen, he could pull for a shot, he could attack player 5 one on one, but we're going to have player 3 roll off towards the middle of the key. There's a very important aspect to this and that is if player 5 pops out we could have a pass to player 3. If player 3 red then covers that middle which technically would be in a way a mistake but is something that is viable to happen when player 5 gets really well drawn out of the key, then player 2 could be open for a 3 or could cut back door where again high to low post pass for an easy layup. Fantastic, fantastic option. And our fifth play is going to be a high 1-4. This one's really, really interesting. I really love this play. I don't use it with my team. However, this could be a viable option. Even if you do run the five out op offense, you can just have the, the corners pop up to the high post. And it's actually very good. So against a man-to-man -man defense, what we would have is a staggered screen. If we had it set by player five, then player three would go to the high post to set the staggered. And then we'll have player four. He's going to be popping out player two is going to be going down towards the corner and when player one uses this staggered screen we want player five to roll towards the basket first and then player three to pop for a three-point shot this gives player one options to drive to shoot of course player three to shoot and then player five rolling towards the basket. Now there's so many different things that could happen. There's a layup there. There's so many different things that can happen. There could be a help defender where we can kick it out for a three. It's all about reading and reacting, but this is just a basic staggered screen play out of a high one four. And now we can go into a more of a zone offense. I'll show you right now. So the interesting thing that happens in a high one four against a zone is you generally bring that zone up away from the baseline which is beneficial and same thing will then occur we're going to have player five setting that screen and we would want to have player three setting a screen on of course this red player now there's going to be two different options here so we're going to have player one use that first screen that could draw up player three in which case this would be a perfect situation where now we'll basically be isolating player five against player one and five. So coming off of that staggered screen, we could have player one attack, nice quick floater, whatever. That's all different. That's obviously an option that's there. However, if player three stays low and we have player one coming off of that initial screen and player three stays low, we would want to have player three set a screen here on this side of player three because now we'll be having player one open for a wide open three or even a mid-range shot and if he pulls in for a mid-range shot and it draws player five up we still have that roll that happened and we can still kick that ball out we can get that layup there's so many different options that could happen i hope that these plays help your team win more games make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below and i'll see you guys again in my next video.